Hello YouTube, this is Master Side coming to you from here, Team Heroes Dark Side with a uh, mail opening. Now, I got a couple things coming in, like usual, and I have no idea what's in here, so hopefully we, uh, I, I ordered some decks, and I ordered some sleeves, well this isn't sleeves, and I ordered booster boxes. Uh, by the size, I'm assuming it's a booster box, so look at this open, and... Since it's pretty big, I'm assuming it's Vanguard, so let's get this open. I got a couple of those coming in. And I also did some pre-orders, so I will be having more. Wow. So, we got the Divine Dragon Capers. Now, let's get this sucker open up and see what we get here. Let's see what we got to open this up. Here we go. Let's get this open. So, uh, this is going to have a lot of support for different clans. Um, let's see, it's going to have support for hmm, Norikami, I believe. Uh, Shadow Paladin, which is the one people, uh, with Ritual, which is the one people are expecting the most. Um, Gear Chronicle, it's going to have a couple. Angel Feathers, and, uh, and I think that's about it. I'm not, I think Spike Brothers also comes out on this, so... Let's check this out. Uh, on the front, it has the new guy, Kazuma, and and it has Chrono. And it has Kazuma's main stride. And let's see. Alright, let's get this open. So, let's see what we can do with this. Come on. Now, guys, I want you to stop the video and just punch that thumbs up button for good luck. Let's start on our right side, since I'm right-handed. And wish me good luck, man. Uh, I'm hoping, hopefully, I get some good stuff from my Shadow Talent deck. That way I can make my profile as soon as possible for you guys. Because I know people are going to want to see your deck profile on the new ritual. So, yeah, let's get this started. So, I heard that, uh, that there's also reprints in this, if I'm correct. Which is not bad. I'm hoping for some reprints as well. So let's see. Let's see. We have De Detecting Revenger Ife. Uh, more support for the Revenger deck. We got Heavy Wrench Draco Kid. Gear Chronicles uh, starter. Let's see. Let's separate them. Then we have Assist Owner Main. Mainels, I'm sorry if I screw up the name, guys. Uh, yeah, this is for Shadow Pan, the new ritual stuff. And then we have Knight of Iron Cluster Crafting. Crafting. So that is a Royal Paladin stand trigger. I heard it's pretty decent. So let me show that right there. Next, we have Marine General Twin Bullets. Kratos. Kratos. So that's Grand Blue right there. No, I mean Aqua Force, my bad. I am so sorry, guys. I don't know how I got that wrong. Uh, uh, Grand Blue is like my one of my favorite clans after Shadow Pine, so I don't know how I got that wrong. Alright, so next we have, let's see, a Cray Elemental, Light Elemental, Honolly. Then we have some Angel Feather, Elastic, Bipolar, Ratiel. There's some more cards with, um, no, this one doesn't have that rescue. Then we have Harpoon, Draco Kid for Aqua Force, a starter, a new starter. And we have, let's put the rares on the side. Then we have a Heal Trigger for Angel Feather, Teardrop Phoenix. Looks pretty cool. Next, we have a Sentinel. Dudley Cheer Lin Linda, for those that like the Dudley deck out of the Spike Brothers. Alright. So, uh, please subscribe. Tell me, what, uh, tell me what type of decks you would like to see out of these boxes. Hopefully, we'll get some more boxes in soon. And I'll be able to open them up for you guys. Let's see. We got our Artistic Celestial Macarel. Material. So this is Angel Feathers for the Celestials. We have Battle Siren Chrisita. 
for um, Aqua Force. And we have a new reprint. Uh, uh, a reprint but a new art of Thousand Eye Pegasus a very wanted art by a lot of people a very wanted art and the uh, art looks way better in my opinion so that's pretty good I'm gonna put it on the side as well even though it's just a, a normal and we have Silent Joker another reprint very wanted by people it's good that they reprinted these cards because um, some people can't find them they can't go too much back and find them so we're gonna put this rare right over here and we're gonna put Silent Joker right there. And then we have Abyss Owl. One of the cards that I'm definitely looking for this deck, I'm gonna read it to you. It says, when this unit is placed on rear from your hand, look at seven cards from the top of your deck. Search for up to one card with Luard in it and its card name from among them and reveal it, reveal it. Put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. If you put a card into your hand, choose one or more cards with the sum of their grade being three or greater from your hand and discard them. Ritual three. When this unit is retired from rear from for the effect or cost of a card with Luard and its card name, counter charge one, which is really good. I need three more of those. Hopefully, uh, I'll get three more or at least one more, and I can start building that action. So let's get this thing open. Come on. Over here, my family decided to come and celebrate Christmas with us, so I'm stuck in my room. <laughs> uh, Blue Wave Sol uh, Soldier Simon. See more? Oh, wait. Let me show you the owl real fast. And then we got Simon. Uh, Aqua Force. Then we got Black Omen Fool. Fool. For Angel Feathers. A new rescue card, I believe. Oh no, it's a forerunner for Angel Feathers. Then we have Blue Way Marine General Lucianos. Lucianos. Alright, and then we have a critical trigger. Radney Mew. Radney Mew. For Shadow Paladin. Another crit. And then Kelpie Rider Nikitas. I, lo I love the art on this card. It's a, a wave, um, wave 1 and 2 card I like how it looks is it looks pretty cool I like the art it reminds me of some of those animes like my neighbor Totoro and stuff like that punch that like button uh, punch that like button if anybody seen um, Princess Mononoke or my neighbor Totoro or stuff like that if they know what I mean all right and then we have commanding knight Jessa a ritual three card it says the rest is unit, choose two of your other units and they get 4k to the end of the turn. Eh, not bad. Not the worst card ever. But, I don't think I'll be running it. So, let me show that to you. It's cute and everything, but no. Then we got Pulsar Speedy Bunny. That looks nothing like a goddamn bunny. Look at that. Gear Chronicle. Alright. And then we have Detecting Revenger Elephant. Once again, we have another Revenger card. I believe these are to the new um, to uh, the new support for Raging Form. And next we have High Tremble Angel, a stand trigger for um, no, wait, wait, uh, for um, Angel Feathers. Uh, it goes into the soil and gets 3k. Not bad. And oh, our first triple rare, Holy Sheriff Atiel. I love the art on this card. It looks amazing. It's just crazy. Let me try and see if I can get my computer camera to focus, my crappy camera. All right, let me read this to you guys. Holy Sheriff Atiel, uh, let's see, uh, it's right to the left, y'all know that. Uh, Generation Break 3. Counter Blast 1, all of their units in the front row get 2k into the end of turn. Rescue. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, choose a face down card from your Jesus and turn it face down when this unit is placed on Vanguard. You may pay the cost if you do. Choose up to up to the same number of cards from your damage zone as the number of face up Holy Sheriff Altieros and your Jesus and heal them. Choose one of your Vanguards and for each damage healed with this effect, deal 1 damage. 
So it would help you out a lot with rescue. And so it's really nice. It, it like it helps you like move your stuff around, helps you with your packages and stuff like that. So one last look at this. Alright, so let's put that right there. And next we got come on. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully we get something good. Come on, wait. I hope y'all guys are punching that light button. Ferocious Attack Revenger Dylan. I love the art on this. It looks he looks crazy strong. It would have been better if it was a girl. Then we got Strangle Strangle Finn Dragon. A grade three aqua force. Uh, does it look like much? And then we have a Revenger Weight Gore Dragon. Another support card for Ranging Form. If I get enough cards, I will be making a Ranging Form deck if y'all guys want to. Then we have Posar Hypnosis Sheep. A grade, uh, grade 0 stand trigger for Gear Chronicles. Absorb Celestial Baharia. Baharia. It's an angel feather for, uh, for, um, for the damage uh, for celestials. Uh, it works in the damage zone by soul blasting. It's a rare. Let me show that to you. All right. So far, we only got in one of our higher cards than a normal rare. <sighs> Let's see. Now we got a Pulsar Tamer Nepada. Seriously, they're just making up names like nothing. Next, we got Lee Libu Libu for the for Shadow Paladins. So it's a new Shadow Paladins starter, Libu. And we have Mecha Coach. This this card is for Spike Brothers, a new starter. Of course, I think Mecha Trainer is way better. Then we have Honorable Monk Dragon. The draw trigger. Alright. This is for Narukami. First Narukami we got it. Next we have Black Devolt Phal Phalanx. It is a double rare but with rescue for Angel Feathers. Let me read it for you. Rescue 1. While in the damage zone, generation break one, counter blast one. If this card is in face up card, this wait, if this face up card, wait, if this card is face up, call this card to rear and it gets 2k into the end of the turn. Put the top card of your deck into your damage zone face down, choose a card from your damage zone, heal it, and choose one of your vanguards and deal one damage. And then it says auto. So blast one, put this unit into your damage zone face up. When this used card is discarded from your hand for the cost of a stride. If you have a Vanguard with rescue ability, you may pay the cost. If you do choose one of your damage and heal it. Now this card is really good. It would allow you help it helps you amazingly. I cannot comprehend just how I mean, people can comprehend just how amazing this card is. When when I first saw it, I didn't think it was gonna be that good. But now that I read it, I'm like, I can use it in many many ways in my Angel Feather deck. All right, now I got Aqua Force, Blue Wave Dragon, Submerged Dragon, and we got another reprint, different art, Million Way Pegasus, and it's it's running that new pimp art. Look at that! That that looks crazy. Just running that art. So I'm gonna put that right on my other Pegasus, and then we have Blue Wave Rescue Yaltis for Aqua Four Starter. Then we have Flame Bee Sailor, Heal Trigger for Aqua Force. And now we have another, uh, uh, another. Re uh, I think this is a reprint of a rare card, Conquering Supreme Dragon Dragonic Vanquisher Bolt Tanks. I think this is a card, kind of like someone got um, ranging form. I got this. I think this is it. Please, guys, if if you think this is the card that came in the package that I was supposed to be expecting, please tell me. 
It looks high and mighty, so let's put that right there. Uh, let's see. I was hoping to get a radio form, but I think that's the card. Alright, now we got Lingering Knight, Revenger, and Conrad. I believe this is for the... It says, put this unit into your soul, choose a normal unit from your hand, discard it, look at the top card of your deck, put it into the top or bottom of your deck, draw a card. If you have a face-up card in your G-Zone, choose one of your units and it gets 5k. Not bad. It does a lot of things. And hopefully you get what you need when you do that, that second draw. So, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of tired. It's a Shadow Pound and Starter. So... Yeah, and now we got a full speed Spectre. It's a Spike Brothers card with charge. It says, when this unit becomes charging, you may pay the cost if you do until the end of the turn get 4K, and this unit, uh, this unit can attack a Vanguard from the back row. Nice, not bad. That is a really good card. I'll probably put it in my Spike Brother deck if I ever get the chance. And then we have a Eradicator and Lightning Phoenix. Narukami got it and got another card. Alright, so let's put that right there. Let's see. Bah, 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 boom. There are not many Narukami cards. Oh, here it is. So, next we have Battle Siren Malika. I'm not sure, but I think this is a reprint as well uh, of a different art. I don't know what you guys say. I think, I think there was another one like this one. No, a different art. And then we have Eradicator, Dragonic Death Scythe. Hey, they finally made it an Eradicator. Took them long enough. Or I think this was already an Eradicator. I'm not sure. It might be a reprint with different art. Alright, next. Jesus, I'm tired. I went to compete with my friends at my locals today. Oh, well, actually no. I went. I went to hang out with my. Oh, my bad. I went to hang out with my friends to, uh, today. It was pretty fun. We didn't get to go to our local since it's around Christmas time. They're closed. Mayhem Tiger, another charge card for Spike Brothers. And let's see, Zoom Dive Dragoon, uh, Norikami uh, Thunderstrike cards. And we have Outrage Lineback. It says, charge, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if this unit gets 4k into the end of battle, put this unit into your soul. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, if this unit is charging, you may pay the cost. If you do choose a card from your hand, and you may pay the cost. It, and you may call it to an open rear. Not bad. That's a pretty good card. So, Spike Brothers. There you go, that. Next, we have, Jujin the Raining Dust Stone. Storm. I'm not sure if this is a reprint. I have a feeling that it might be. Because I remember there was a lot of Jin cards. Then we got Blue Wave. Marine General Lysong. For the Blue Wave. Alright. Let's get this done. Come on. So far, I have yet to get what I want. Gr uh, Grudge Toxin Eradicator Solobi. Another Eradicator card. Eradicator Ambitious Dragoon. A new Eradicator starter. Dragon Dancer Fatim. Another Narukami card. And we have a Doc Roy Felius. Angel Feathers. And we just got a, I just noticed a card. This one, it is a card that, that I want to work with. It is uh, the new uh, the new grade three support for Ranging Form, Revenger Slay Hex Dragon. So I'm gonna read this. It's a rare, it says, Time Bash one and choose a card from your hand, discard it. When this unit is placed on Vanguard uh, and rides with a unit, wait, and rides a unit with Revenger in its card name, you may pay the cost if you do search your deck for up to one Revenger Ranging, uh, Ranging Form Dragon and write it as stand and shuffle your deck. If you roll, choose a Revenger Slay Hand Dragon from your soul and put it into your hand. So that's not bad. 
They could have made it a little bit different to make it better, but they did it. They could have made it to like the point where it, it stands raising form a third time. That would be cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We have Serial Bomber. With charge, when your other rear guard becomes charging, this unit gets 4k. So every time a unit becomes charging, it gets 4k. That's not bad. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, choose a card from your hand and call it to an open rear. And, this, and that unit gets 2k. Uh, okay. Not bad. So, ba -ba boom. Spike Brothers. And then we have Eradicator Strike Slasher Dragon. The eradicator card and then we have spike bear dudley ingram when did you need when you did with dudley and his card name is placed on rare during the battle phase this unit gets 3k into the end of turn so 12k here and then we have a heel trigger cheer girl sandra oh my god i will definitely run this uh, this is just adorable right there look at that cute and then we have Roaring Thunder Spear Jalil, a a rare for with Thunder Strike too for Narakami. All right, come on, guys! I'm still looking for that card that I'm looking for. I'm not gonna tell you what card I'm looking for just yet. I have the hell I'll tell you. I am looking for the Luar card and the Angel Feather card I got, which is not bad. I was hoping for the Luar card in ranging form, but I don't think I'm going to get any of them, too. Martial Arts Dragoon, Dragon, for Narukami. Then we have Air Force Eliza, Spike Brothers. Then we have Groundbreaking General Bizam. And I'm also looking for the Generation uh, generation Guard for Shadow Patterns. And we got Bizam for Narakami. And we have High Tremble Angel for Angel Feathers, I believe. Yeah, it's another stand trigger for Angel Feathers. And we have a Double Rare Dark Dragon Plot Maker Dragon, the one that I was talking about. Oh my god. Thank you for those that punched that button. You gave me good luck and you got me one of the three cards that I'm looking for. Two of the three cards I'm looking for so far. That is good luck. Thank you very much for those who punched that button. Alright. Keep on punching them because I still need more luck to get the third card I am looking for. If I get that card, this will be a great card. So, a uh, great box. Heavy Re or Wrench Draco Kid. I started for for gears let's see right there and then we have assist owner Mejias shadow paladin with the new ritual cards blue way marine general and damia aqua force and then we have post our rush roar critical trigger And then we have Drag Dry Luar. Yes, I got it. Oh my god, I got it. I am so happy. I got both of them. I got the Generation Guard and I got the Strife for Luar. I am going to read both of them now. I was just not going to read them, but since I got that one, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read the Generation Guard. It says, uh, uh, during your opponent's tur uh, turn, guard step, choose a heal trigger, discard it uh, in your hand, discard it. Call this card from into your guardian circle, face up. Ritual 3. If you have, uh, activate only if you have 3 or more grade 1s in your drop zone, this unit gets an extra 10k. So it is a 25k shield, which is why this card is so amazing. I am so lucky to have drawn this card, but I also drew Drag Drive Luar, which I am so hyped about right now. It says... Stride step, which I'm gonna skip ritual three. So blast one. It choose a face down card from your Jizo and turn it face up. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your uh, search for up to the number of grade one cards from your deck equal to the number of face up drag drive Luars in your G zone. 
Call them to separate rear guard and shuffle your deck. For each grade one card in your drop zone, those units get 10, uh, 1k until the end of the turn. So, for every grade one in, in my drop zone, it gets a uh, gets a 1k boost. And since you, we know how easy it is to get that card, to uh, to get those cards in your drop zone, those grade ones, these two cards are just way too good. So I'm so glad this box was worth what what the person paid for it, the one that lost. Uh, this box was given to me by um, by one uh, by a player that played against me, and he lost. And he wagered to buy a box, and since I won, he sent it to me. He also said it was my Christmas present. So, oh wait, there's one card face down on this. Oh my God, it might be something good. Let's see. Oh my God, this is a God box, ladies and gentlemen. We got Exceptional Imperial Rising Nova. We got Great Hero Rising Supernova. We got Acrobat Vardy. And we got Liar Lips, the critical trigger as well. And ladies and gentlemen, we have Juggernaut Maximum Maximum. Oh my god, this is the first time I have ever pulled one of these. And it was off a box I beat off of someone. And it was half of my present. Uh, but it was worth it. I got Luard. I got the Generation Guard. And I got a secret pack in this box. Even if the rest of the cards that come in this box are not worth anything. I just made my money even though I didn't spend any. I am so happy with this box. I appreciate the guy that lost against me. And that is just amazing. And we're not even ha halfway through the box. This is the last pack on the right side. So now we're halfway through the box. Oh my god. I was wondering why it was one phase down. Man, I am so happy. We got Dudley Little Road. It doesn't even matter what we get now. <laughs> Commanding Knight Chessa. Janessa. We got Posar Speedy Bunny. Posar Rush Roar. And we got Lethal Forward. For Spike Brothers. And I'm going to read this one because it's a rare. It says... When this unit becomes charging into the end of the turn, this unit gets 2k. When this unit attacks, hits a Vanguard. If you have a Vanguard with Rising in its card name, search for up to one card with Lito, uh, with, um, other than Lethal 4 from your deck and call it to an open rear guard and shuffle your deck. So it's not bad. It's a grade 2 and it's a rare and it has charging. It's a pretty decent card. I like that. It doesn't give the card that they call a boost, but it's still good. Oh, man, I'm just so happy about that package right now. I really don't care what I get in these. Actually, I do care, but you know what I mean. Who, anybody, I, I don't know you guys, but whoever just punched that button, I really appreciate it. That was kind of like the Spirit Bomb uh, from Goku. Uh, only that y'all, it's the punched up button bomb, or whatever y'all want to call it. I really appreciate it. All right, we got Blue Wave Marine General Demis, or Demis. Let me show that off. And now we got a card that I really wanted, even though it's just a common card. I have heard great things about it. I read it, and I can see how it will work for me. Knight of Serial Blade Dimur. Mood. Uh, I'm just disappointed that this is the first one I got so far. It's going to work perfect in my Luar deck. And then we got Kelpie Rider Paul. Uh, for Aqua Force. We got Flames... Sailor, and we have a great card right here uh, for Aqua Force, and we have a uh, excellent Celestial UPL. UPL. So for the Celestial deck, not bad. Let's put that right there. Wow, man, this card had this box has been amazing, and the most amazing part is that I didn't have to pay a dime for it. I appreciate Siren Frost from get, uh, for losing to me uh, in Skype and getting me this box. And it was obvious I was going to win, but still. Uh, I never thought I was going to pull what I pulled in this box. So we got First Aid Cor uh, Corgi. Angel Feather. Says, what do Angel Feathers have dogs now? Damn. 
Blue Way Dragon Submerged Dragon for Aqua Force. And we have another million raid Pegasus. I wish I get two uh, two more of these. And we have Germanic Dragon Neon Cardo. Uh, it's a heal trigger for Marikami. And we have Dudley Jeter. Ladies and gentlemen, Dudley Jeter is retired this unit at the beginning of your ride phase. If you have a member with Dudley in his card name, you may pay the cost. If you do into the end of the turn, if you stride a G unit with Dudley in his card name, you may pay stride without paying the cost. And the next time you stride, which is not bad. I really like this card. It gives you a free stride, even though you have to do a little bit more than, than Luar, you still get it done. All right, so let's see. Uh, Spike Brothers is over here, and this is supposed to be Gear Carnival, so it goes over here. Right. I'm just so happy right now, like, I just can't believe that I actually got something. I never get almost uh, any of those secret rare packs. It's my first time, and, <laughs> and the funny part is, like, right before, uh, right on Christmas, well, 30 minutes, uh, thir around 30 minutes before Christmas, and let's see, we have Knight of Serial Blade Dumar. Yes, I got another one, ladies and gentlemen. That is amazing. We got Kelpie the Rider Paul. They're probably going to make a deck around Kelpie. That would be hilarious. From Aqua Force. And then we have another of these doggies. I don't know why. Uh, for Angel Feather. And we have that stand trigger, Knight of Iron Cluster Kristen. You know what? I'm going to read this. Reach your three. When this unit is placed on rear from your hand into the end of turn, this unit gets. When this unit is retired from rear from, uh, for the effect of cost of your card, look at two cards from the top of your deck. Search from to one card from among them and put it into your hand. And put the rest in the uh, into your drop zone. So it's not bad. It's, it's decent. It gets you good with ritual and all that stuff. So our last card is a triple rare. True Eradicated Dragonic Descendants Zillion. Uh, I'm not going to read this card because... Wait, I'm going to read it, whatever. Once return, she's a uh, face-down card. True Eradicator Dragonic Descendants Zillion from your G-Zone. And, and turn it face up. If you have a heart with, your, with Descendant in this card name, it's in turn it gets... Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast, uh, Soul, uh, Soul Blast 2, and choose 3 cards from your hand and discard them. Wow. And at the end of the battle that this unit attacked the Vanguard, if the attack did not hit, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this unit. And it gets minus one drive check. Oh my god, this card is it's not worth what, what you pay for it. Just to stand once more and only get two drive checks? No. I'm sorry. Right there, you're sacrificing one counter blast, two soul blasts, and three cards? That's seven. It's six cards. Wow, I cannot believe I said so. But I guess somebody might want it. It, it work if you play it right. It will work for you. If you play it right, like those that do, uh, are obsessed with eradicators, like I used to be back in the day, they will know how to use that card. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad card. I'm not saying it's a good card. Everybody has their own way of playing. So we got Blue Wave Recruit Yetis. I'm also looking for the perfect card for Shadow Pattern. Now that I remember, Blue Wave Recruit Yetis, and we have another card. I think this is a great two I've been looking for for this one for Aqua Force. And this is Black Relief or a Toron for Angel Feather. I think this is the new great two I've been looking for. Counter Black One. When your card is put into a drop zone from your damage zone due to the effect of rescue ability, you may pay the cost. You do call the card that was put into your drop zone to another rear guard in the same column as this unit. At the same column as the unit. And not bad. So let's see. We put that right there. And then we have the Light Elemental Hunley. Once more. We got Dolphin Soldier of the Leaping Windy Seas. I think this is a reprint. Oh my gosh. Uh, Stand Trigger for Aqua Force. Oh my god. I was just talking about this. The Shadow Paladin Drag Drive er S Rus. The perfect guard for Shadow Paladin. I have gotten every card that I was looking for. This is by far the God card of God cards. Oh my god, I think this is by far such a great card. I've never, uh, such a great uh, box opening. I never had anything like this. So, it, my health. I don't know if there's even anything that can beat this right now. 
though maybe a, a, a super pack of a shadow palace would have been better but oh well elastic bipolar ratio for angel feathers harpoon draco kit for aqua force and we have elastic celestial macario and we got Danny Regista, stench trigger for for Spike Brothers. And we have Poster Shuttle Falcon for Gear Chronicles for the new um, for the new Sodia Time Beast deck. So yeah, it's a rare, so we'll put that right here. The Spike Brothers card right there. All right, so let's get this open. We still got a few a few more packets. Oh my god, I am just so happy about this box right now. <laughs> uh, what makes me happy is that I didn't have to pay anything for it. These guys are probably... Uh, anybody who's seen it, if we've seen it, probably saying, Just shut up and continue. Alright, Battle Siren, Cressida. Cressida. And from Aqua Force, we have Thousand Ray Pegasus. Yes, we got another one. We got 2000 Ray, 2 million Ray. For Angel Feathers, and then we got Blue Way Shoulders, Simon. And. Jesus Christ, where is it? Uh, Aqua Force. And then we have Teardrop of the Phoenix for Angel Feathers. And we have another Angel Feather rare card, Black Mirage Hayate. Hayate. Rescue 2. Counter Black 1. Rest is Unit. If you have a. Five cards in your damage zone, choose two cards from your damage zone and heal them. Choose one of your vanguards and deal two damage to them. Whoa. So it just shuffles your damage. Could wear a heal trigger and could help you get a heal trigger and stuff. Not bad. Okay, so let's see. What's next? Let's get this done. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright. We got Black Omen Fool for Angel Feathers. Black Wave Marine General Lucianos for Aqua Force. We got Ferocious Attack Revenger Dylan. And we have another Spike Brother Joker, uh, Silent Joker, which is not bad. All right, we'll put that right there. And this goes right here. These are, okay. And then we have Polestar Eradicator Soitan. Alright, so let's continue going. Wow, this box is crazy, man. So let's see. Sh uh, sh uh, Straggling Dragon for Aqua Force. Revenge of Wake, uh, Wake Gore Dragon for Shadow Paladins. Pulsar Tamer Nepada for uh, La. Um, Gear Chronicle and Rabbit 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 Mew for Shadow Pal uh, for Shadow Palin. and we have a Dudley Turbo Rappler for Spike Brothers. I wish we get more Dudley stuff, right there. Not bad. Let me read that for you guys. It says when this un when unit with Dudley and his card name is placed on rear during your turn ba uh, during during your turn battle phase, this unit gets 5K. Until the end of the turn, when a G unit strides during your turn, choose up to one of your vanguards and it gets. So, last one, you, when your rear guard with Dudley and his car name attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, this uh, the unit that attack gets by K. Until the end of the turn, and at the end of the battle, put the unit into your soul. Not, not bad. Boosts up your soul. Loses your rear guard, but you get a good soul. So, you're not losing much. Uh, that goes over here. I'm probably thinking of making that Dudley deck. Uh, Dudley seem interesting right now. They're getting uh, uh, some support in this deck. I was thinking of Supernova just because I got that rare card, but nah. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll find. I'll probably sell that and buy more stuff. Air Force Eliza for Spike uh, Spike Brothers. And it says kind of black one at the end of battle. That's a unit boost. Charge uh, a charging unit. You may pay the cost. If you do bind a boosted unit, face up. Call it. Call it to an open rear. And it, wait, uh, uh, boosted unit. Face up. Call it to an open rear. And if this unit is charging, that unit gets two K into the end turn. Put this unit into the bottom of your deck. Not bad. And then we have 
Groundbreaking General Bijan for an Eradicator. Dudley Little Road for Spike Brothers and uh, Cheer Girl Sandra. And we have a, a Waver and Defender Gold for Eradicators, ladies and gentlemen. It says Thunderbreak 2, Soap Blast 1, choose one of your other rear guards and retire at the end of a battle that this unit boosted. A unit with Thunder Strike ability, you may pay the cost if you do. Return this unit to your hand and your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards and retire it. Oh, that is nice. You get a, a perfect guard and you get you get to get rid of one of your opponent's uh, rear guards, especially if they only they have one of those pesky rear guards like Silent Tom and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, I love Simon Tom. But when he's used against me, that pisses me off. Alright. Let's see. We got Libu for Shadow Paladins, ladies and gentlemen. We got Mecha Coach for Spike Brothers. We got Literary Night Revenger Conrad for Shadow Paladins. We got Postar Hypnosis Sheep for. Uh, blah, Gear Chronicle. Not bad about that, guys. Keep on forgetting the names. And uh, let's put this right here. And then we have another uh, Generation Guard, Sky Sky Guardian Supreme Dragon, Bullhawk Dragon. It is a G Generation Guard for Narukami, and it says, uh, Thunder Strike Three. Active when your opponent Bind Zone has three or more cards. This unit gets 10k, so it becomes a 25k. It just like the Shadow Paladin one. And at the end of about that, this unit is placed in your Guardian for every four cards in your opponent Bind Zone. Choose up to one rest rear guard in your opponent's front row and retire. Oh my God, this card is so good. If your opponent has so many cards in his Bind Zone, it will be broken. I will run that at least at three. That will wreck an opponent's uh, field, man. Especially, especially if you're, if you run decks that force you to sacrifice, like Sp uh, Spike Brothers. Well, not sacrifice. Return your deck, Spike Brothers, Pell Moon, and stuff like that. So we got Full Speed Spectre, Spike Brothers, Eradicator, Lightning Phoenix for Narukami. Let's see. Put these two right here. And we have Mayhem Tiger for Spike Brothers. Honorable Monk Dragon for Narukami. And Postar Flarescent Dragon for Gear Chronicles. Not bad. We're down to our last three packs, guys. I don't know if there's anything left that's uh, any value in the thing. I, I might have gotten in everything already. Oh, and I don't know if the Mega Pack takes away anything from you, so... I think it's called Mega Pack. I really never got one of these, so I don't know what they're called. So, now we have... Zoom Dive Dragoon for Narukami. Next we have Outraged Lineback for Spike Brothers. Grudge Tex Toxin Eradicator Solubo. I'm sorry if I messed that one up. And Battle Siren Malika for the Aqua Force. And we have a card that we have yet to see. Revenger, Detonate Heat Dragon. It says when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a Vanguard with Raging Form in its card name, this unit gets 2k into the end of the battle. Then this unit gets Counter Blast 1 and retire this unit at the end of the turn. You may pay the cost. And if you do, search for up to 1 Abyss Dragon with Limit Break from your deck and reveal it. Put it into your hand and shuffle your deck into the end of the turn. Oh my god, this card is too good. Oh, damn. I'm just surprised I only got one. That's sad. I'm going to need four more if I'm going to be running Ranger Forms. I actually was hoping I'm getting a Ranger Form. Alright. So, let's see what we got in this. We're down to our last two packages. Punch that button. Hopefully, I uh, miscounted. There's still something else. So, let's see. We got Eradicator Ambitious Dragoon for Eradicators uh, for Narukami. Then we got Dragon Dizer Fatim. We got Serial Bomber for Spike Brothers. 
And we have the Gene the Raining Dust Storm for um, Narukami. And then we have a rare card starter for Narukami. Enchanted Draco Kids. Thunderstrike 1. When this unit boosts, the unit gets 2k into the end of battle. Retire this unit when this uh, generation break 1 while on rear. Retire this unit when any player rear guard other than this unit re is retired from rear. Due to the card effect during your turn when you pay the cost, if you do, your opponent chooses this. One of his turn rear guard retires it and binds it face up. Whoa. Okay, that is a pretty good card, actually. And ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our last pack. Hopefully, cross with our fingers. I do not expect anything else because I think I have done so well in this box. So, let's see if we got anything else. Come on. We got Eradicator Strike Slasher Dragon. We got Dudley Ingram. Actually, one of, uh, one of these for my Dudley deck. Uh, Spike Brothers, Martial Arts Dragoon for Narukami. Dr. Roy Felix. And a uh, Kelpie Rider Vias for Valias or for Aqua Force. That is uh, another Sentinel. Not bad. Alright, so those were that was the opening. Now uh, let's uh, let's retrack and see everything we got. Alright, so let's see. Let's start with our rares and go for them there. Let's put this aside. I'm so happy with this box. So let's see. We got Kelpie Rider Bellius. Eccentric Draco, Eccentric Draco Kid. And we got Revenger Dynate Heat Dragon. We got Dudley Turbo Raptor. Raptor. And then we have Angel, Fe uh, Angel Feather Black Mirage Hyote. Hyote. And we have a Postar Stratos Falcon for Gear Conical. The I believe those are all the clans so far. And then we got Spike Rider Legion Forward. And we have, let's see. Roaring Thunder Spear Jail for Narukami. And we have Revengers uh, Slay Hand. Dragon for the, uh, the Raging Form deck, Revengers. And we have a Eradicator Dragonic Death Side for Narukami. And a Conquering Supreme Dragon Dragonic Vanquisher Boltex. I think that is the reprint because I believe there's one in every deck and, and every box you open. Absorb Celestial Baharia for Angel Feathers. And we have. A Kelpie Rider Nikitas for uh, for Aqua Force. A Abyssal Owl, which I'm really disappointed. I only got one, but thanks to everything I got, I am not that disappointed. And we got a Dudley Cheer Linda for the Dudley Spike Rider deck. Oh wait, that's over here. And we have Marine General of Twin Bullets Critics. I actually like the name of that since I'm a uh, good. I like do, do, uh, using uh, dual wielding guns and, and shooting games. And those are all our rares and uh, for our from our box. I only got one rare for for um, gears, which I'm okay with since I really I, I don't hate gears, but it's not my main plan. Then we got Wayman Defender Gold Sentinel for. Perfect guard for uh, Narukami. We got a generation guard for Narukami. Um, Sky Guardian Supreme Dragon, Bulwark Dragoon. And then we have True Eradicator, Dragonic Descent, Zillion. And then after that, we have for Angel Feather, we have Black Devote, Felix. And Holy Seraph Atio. And then for for Shadow Paladins, my main plan. Drag Saber Eras. The perfect guard. The ritual perfect guard. Then we got Drag Drag Drive uh, Drag Drive Luard and Dark Dragon Pump Maker Dragon. 
Now, after getting these three, I was not expecting any more. And we got boom, 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 boom. The super for, uh, I don't know, it's called the Mega Pack Super Pack. I don't know what it's called. I never got one for, for Spike Brothers. Uh, I think it's just amazing that I got this. Well, this was my opening. This was Master Side coming to you on our Christmas special from Team Hero Dark Side. You too. Peace out. And have a great holiday. I hope y'all celebrate Christmas with your family just like everybody should. Peace out.